Hi everyone, this is Mac Jackson, Cybersecurity Consultant. I wanted to take this time and show you a software program that I've been talking about on my show, Technology Review, now for a few months. And it's called LastPass. And I wanted to give you a little demo demonstration of LastPass. What LastPass is, LastPass is a software program that is a password management system that will encrypt all of the passwords that you use between the websites that you visit and other applications on your devices like your laptops, desktops, smartphones, and all you have to remember is one password. So we're going to go through a little demonstration here of LastPass. If you have any questions, please feel free within our group here to let me know what you think and send me a message or any questions we have about it. It's a great program for you to have. LastPass, is, again, is a way to simplify your life, as they call it, and will give you a way to record all the passwords that you use for websites you visit so you don't have to remember all of them. In the program, if you go to the website that is lastpass.com and take a look at some of the options here, you can use LastPass to store and record your passwords for your applications like Facebook, Amazon, Salesforce, uh, your bank accounts, your financial institution accounts. And what it will do, it will save your passwords for you where you don't have to remember them. When you go to the website, for example, of Facebook, LastPass will, is basically an add-on to your browser and it will remember the password for you. When you're working with your browser the first time, and LastPass is not loaded, it will ask you for your master password. Now, again, we talked about this on my show as well. We should have passphrases and not passwords. So use a passphrase. We'll go through a little bit about that, what a passphrase is, a little bit later in this demonstration. But once your password or passphrase is entered, you'll then be able to have access to the websites that you wish to visit. You will then select your password that LastPass has stored for you, and it will automatically fill in the blanks for you for your user ID and your password allowing you access to your application it also has a fill-in feature where it will fill in information regarding your sites that you're visiting so for example let's say that you can have LastPass store your address information uh, the city state zip phone number the, that, those type of information, those variables, and LastPass will remember them for you and fill in the blanks for you when you're filling out applications online, and it can do it automatically, saving you a lot of time having to re-enter information over and over again. LastPass is a great way to do it for you. I also like the feature of LastPass called a generator, and what this does, LastPass will generate passwords for you. Notice an example here, this is a literally a 12-digit password that consists of lowercase, uppercase, numbers, special characters. It's a great way to create a password that is hard for to be cracked by hackers. And once this password is created for you, it can, will be stored and encrypted within LastPass. LastPass will not save your passwords on their servers or remember what their passwords are. They have no way of figuring that out. All passwords are done locally on your particular device. So if you're looking, and I, another point I want to make about the generator, this is a good feature because you can now create policies in your organization that will tell your employees that they need to have change their passwords every three months, every two months, and LastPass can generate a new password for each of the websites that you visit with a combination that's very tough and very solid and strong. And you can use this for all of for your passwords. Now, each of the sites that you have set up, folks, um, including Facebook, Amazon, uh, your financial institutions, Twitter, all those accounts, Instagram, you make sure you have a separate password or passphrase for every one of these accounts. And that will give you extra layer of protection. Last pass we use for personal and business as well. The business application is really good. As also, um, it, it will provide information for all of your employees where they'll have the same ca capabilities for, the, for all the websites they visit as well. And it will uh, be able to store and remind them of 
to change their passwords. And as far as personal, personal works great for your laptop and desktop, especially at home and your family as well can be able to have the capability of one master password that they know and all the websites that they visit will have unique passwords for every site that you visit. Some of the other features of LastPass includes login to go, makes it very, very simple and easy to use, one master password. It makes it easier for online shopping because you have the fill in the blank options for you automatically built in. You can generate strong passwords, or as we call them, passphrases, automatically set up within LastPass. The records are stored digitally. All right, you can also keep track of uh, things like your insurance records, memberships, uh, Wi-Fi passwords, all this information can be can be created digitally. Now, again, if you've been watching our show, we talk about this a lot, where we state that users should never put information on pad and pencil of their user ID and password, basically because you're creating something from nothing. You are basically creating currency on a piece of paper that has a zero value that's now worth something because you've entered a password on it. So this is uh, definitely something you should take a look at. Uh, let's see, we also have here um, share effortlessly. Uh, something shouldn't be sent in text conveniently, safe passwords and notes for anyone. That's right. You can also um, send out information that is encrypted and can be shared, giving them temporary access to your to a site that you have uh, need access to, but the user on the other site will not be able to see your password. And here's an example of some of the websites that have been set up on LastPass. You can use this for different devices, such as your desktop here. Yep, your desktop right here, your smartphone, and your smartwatch as well. LastPass will be able to encrypt and keep track of all the passwords that you need to keep you safe and mitigate some of the attempts by hackers to get your information online. LastPass is used by millions of users right now and, and over 60,000 businesses are using LastPass. So this is just a quick rundown. Uh, quickly, we'll take a look at the pricing for you here. We can see where it costs. You can set up LastPass 30-day free membership trial to get used to it and see some of the features, how it works. You can also have a premier account uh, for individuals up to one user and a family account up to six users for your family using LastPass, and this is great because this gives you access to storing your passwords on all your devices, have automatically um, save and fill in the password for you, password generator generates the passwords for you, secure notes that you have want to have saved, security challenge. What this does, security challenge, is to make sure that your password is something that is unique between all of the websites that you visit and all the passwords you have set up in the system where you don't have the same type of password that can be figured out by hackers. So definitely check out this website. There's lots of great features on it regarding LastPass. There's also a business option, which is really unique because now you can incorporate this particular security software password management system into your security business um, plan and policies for your organizations. So folks, that's my little demonstration of LastPass. I will do a further detailed, drill down, detailed uh, video for this as well. If you guys request it, just go ahead and let me know in the comments um, below in this video and let me know what you think and we can do a detailed view of LastPass. Also, check out the link below. I'll have a link where you can specially click on and um, be able to be part of our affiliate program for LastPass as well. Any other videos you'd like to see us review and talk about here on Technology Review, definitely let me know. So until then, folks, this is Mac Jackson, Technology Review. We'll talk to you soon.